Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. If you just want to build cool nifty LLM powered applications and you don't really care about cost, you don't really care about any closed source, open source, you just want something to get built. Maybe you have you have your company's account where you have free open AI's credit. Then I would highly suggest that maybe have a quick look at this tool called as O1 engineer which primarily lets developers to create their projects efficiently i already have covered few of the projects by this person and i think i also created an open source version with olama with one of the tooling there so if you're interested just search with the olama engineer and you will enjoy it but for the purpose of this video i'm going to show you how to get this o1 engineer installed locally and then how you can create edit and play around with your projects locally um, by using open AI's API and the reason we are use uh, sorry and the very reason that we are using open AI here so that's a paid option you would need to go to platform.openai.com and then you would need to grab your API key from there also you would, would have to be a bit wary of the cost there because projects like these no matter how nifty and cool they are still they could become quite expensive very soon you won't find that information in these sort of wrappers, but uh, be aware of that. The best option there is to just put a limit on your open AI's account so that you don't get any bill shock. And as I said, if you're looking for an open source local Olama based version, just start my channel. I already have done a couple of videos around it. Okay, so let's uh, go and try to get this thing installed. Before that, let me give a huge thanks to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video because this is an API based tool so we won't be needing GPU for this but if you're looking to rent a GPU on good prices do check them out and I will drop the link to their website in video's description with a coupon code of 50% discount of course and they are also running this Hacktober 2024 if you're interested, you can submit your LLM generated text or image entries and you stand a chance to win $100 in free GPU compute credit. Seems quite interesting. So check them out. Okay, let's go to this repo and I will drop the link to this Oven Engineer also in video's description. This is Ubuntu I'm using and this is my GPU card uh, courtesy masked compute. But of course, you can use this program on your CPU. It uh, shouldn't uh, be that much of a problem. Let's clear the screen. Let me create a Conda environment. I'm just calling it Oven. Let's wait for it to get activated. Once that is done, we are just going to install some of the prerequisites, which include Torch, Transformers, and Accelerate. That should take a minute or two. So let's wait for it. It is installing it from the source. So all the prerequisites are done. Next up, let's set our API key. So all you need to do is to grab your API key and put it in, in, within these double quotes and then set it in your environment. So let me set my key and clear the screen. Okay, so I have set my key. Let me now um, get clone the repo. So I'm just cloning the repo and then seeding into it. And now we in, are in that oven engineer repo let's install all the requirements from the root of this repo should be already good for most of the thing i believe anyway so that is all done let's clear the screen and it is quite lightweight next up in order to run this program all you need to do is to run this python script oven eng and as soon as you run it this is the a menu you get and it's a CLI text based prompt. So I'm going to start doing something. For example, we will just start and these are the um, commands which you can do use. For example, it is saying there is a planning one which generate a detailed plan based on your request. You can review it, you can add more files and you can create files, you can edit them and you can debug them. So let's start with the planning. I'm just going to say it this and i'm also going to tell you how much did it set me back after uh, in terms of dollars after we finish it so let's run it okay so it says 
okay what happened there incorrect api key so it is not an incorrect api key i believe that i don't have balance there so let me uh you know uh, bump up my balance put some money in it and then i will run it again let me do it okay so i checked by key the uh, my balance was finished but i uh, also faced this error so what you need to do that not only you need to set it in your environment but if you just open this file which we were running o1-eng.py in any editor of your choice you would also need to put your key here now i think they it should be getting it from the environment so we can change the code and grab it from your environment instead of <clears throat> hard coding it i really don't like to put it in uh, in the hard coded way in the files but anyway let me put my api key here and then i'm going to save it and exit and clear the screen and we will rerun it okay so i have saved my key again let's run it again let's give it the planning phase let's run it okay so now it says that it does not exist o1 dash mini so it means that we have to uh, let me open it in the vs code and we will review the code to see where else it needs some fixing let's do it together okay so this is a code file so you see i this is i have just removed my key for now now one thing i would like to tell you that all of these sort of codes which use OpenAI, the real magic happens in the prompts all you need to do is to change the prompt as per your use case do some basic python and you have your own engineer that's all there is to it so this is the system prompt is uh, all this is doing nothing really fancy nothing out of the ordinary this is all prompting and that's it code review prompt instruction prompt and all that so for all the options which we saw there they have a prompt that's about it and then just some of the simple python script which is not really any rocket size and then this looks okay to me rest of the code so we just need to see where uh, and this is all i think yeah it is just doing some pattern matching some file which we are asking it to create so this is the editing part uh, where it is just opening the file in the write mode and writing and whatever it is writing it is just taking it from the open AI's model and putting it in here that's it nothing else and these are some of the creation steps and uh cool and i have seen some of this person's project they are more or less similar and i think most of the co code is also being used it is quite good not undermining the effort here but it's a good starting point if you are looking to do the same thing with your own project so if i just simply go down where sorry where they have defined the model i just want to double check what the model is let me go up and there you go at the top we just needed to put this gpt 4 mini i have just used this and the good thing is that just recently openai has reduced the rates too by the way okay so let me also again put my key save it and exit and go back to the terminal and i'm going to run it again let's do the planning okay this time it seems to be running and o1 engineer is thinking so let's see what it does here and it says so let me go up a little to see what it is saying nice so it, look at how nicely it has printed that looks really good so okay so i'm just going to go up quickly just to make sure that we are at the start let's go up 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 so this is our <clears throat> detailed plan the plan is step one set up set up project structure so these are the project directories which we need to set and then front end back end create necessary files that's correct and then it has created the files very nicely all the javascript and stuff this is the back end development all javascript is happening and then it has written the documentation very nice and then it is saying that conclusion you should now have a functional basic web app that is good and then we can also maybe uh, ask it now 
with the slash create switch that generate the project structure based on the above plan it is again thinking let's see there you go so it says that okay so it is going to install all of these and do this thing so i'm not going to do it but you have got the gist of it that how this works let me quickly check that i'll just press con maybe i'll just say no here yes so it's back cool so let me quickly check how much it has set me back let me check okay so up till now around i would say 45 cents us it has uh, cost me for just running that first command so you see if you really scale it up you create a full-blown project and then you <clears throat> edit it create it debug it 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 could go out of the hand but nonetheless not a bad project i will drop the link to it in video description play around with it let me know what you think also i would like to <clears throat> give a shout out to another sponsor of this video which is agent ql agent ql is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly easily and at scale you can use the python sdk to run your queries in production using playwright and use the browser-based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page agent ql is a robust alternative to fragile xpath and dom css selectors as it uses the power of ai to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for so that's it guys uh, if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching